Let's talk about what we do know. What we do know is that young man who is out there at the mall has not been allowed to go into any library because of someone in our company who went out and pissed all over his privacy and got security to throw him out. What we also know is that a, that information was passed across their library network so that when he walked into a subset library that he thought he'd be welcome in because he didn't know they were connected, a woman greeted him at the door with his actual biological name, not at all, with his professional name, which he had never given out, and threw him out. How the fuck does that happen? What we have to also talk about is what we observed early in the morning, that we have a Hispanic worker that drives a garbage truck that is constantly parking in the parking lot on behalf of his company. But let's really talk about the pattern. The pattern is that the man drives in in his little fucking garbage truck, blasts through the alleyway that goes in front of the buildings there and the companies that are paying for his work, literally flies across and goes somewhere and stops. Then maybe 15 minutes later, he comes back into the parking lot, drives around in circles, doesn't pick a fucking thing up, and then at some point stops several different times in the parking lot just to sit, not doing his job. I doubt he's got a rough spot to clean up with that broom on his truck. So why don't you start paying attention to that, because that little piss ant, and you know how people are, that the minute they do something illegal or immoral, they want to call the police to blame the victim. So from now on, we're going to pay attention to that at dispatch. That we're not going to automatically presume that that call is important. If it's domestic violence, we will be there. If it's something else, we will be cautious and investigative and we'll ask some intelligent questions before we handle it.